Welcome back, everybody. I am so glad you joined us for week two of our September lessons. Did you guys bring your favorite stuffy with you? Because I brought my little donkey with me for us as we go and listen to our next Bible story. It's all about how God is with us so we can be wise. Let's go ahead and check out the story now. There is nothing, nothing impossible. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult. Because you're with me, you're with me. I am not afraid. Nothing is too hard for you. With you, I can do very big things. God, with you, I can do very big things. I know it's true. I am feeling brave when you are with me. with me. I am not afraid. God, you are with me. With me. So I can be strong. Because nothing is too hard for you. No. With you. to know what to do. Like, what should I eat for snacks? Or what color marker should I draw with? Or should I wear my flip-flops or my rain boots?
this thinking hat is so great. I'm gonna wear it everywhere. Who? Who? Hey, it's Holly. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? That's quite the hat. How's it working for you? Hi, Ollie. When I spin my thinking hat, I always know just what to do. Making choices isn't easy. That's true. But I know someone wise to help you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. <laughs> oh, hola friends! I'm Luis the Handyman. I just finished fixing this gavel for my friend. She's a judge and uses this in her courtroom. She knocks it on her desk when she wants to say something. Or tell people what they should do. <laughs> Speaking of judges, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now, we just need our story tools. Yup, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Deborah. Deborah was the leader of all God's people. She was their judge. Every day, Deborah would stand under a tree and the people would come to her with their big questions and ask her what to do. Deborah knew God was with her. She trusted God to help her be wise and tell the people the right thing to do. Now, God is always with you, too. He can help you be wise and do the right thing. Like when, oh, you and your friend both want to play with the same toy. Hmm. You can be wise and remember that God wants us to love others by sharing. <laughs> or when your brother knocks over your blocks. Well, you can be wise and use kind words instead of yelling at him. <laughs> or when you see someone get hurt, you can be wise and remember that God wants us to help people. God was with Deborah and helped her be wise. God is always with you and can help you be wise and do the right thing too. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. God helped Deborah be wise. And he can help us be wise, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God helped Deborah to be wise and know what to do. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say got it, you get it? Got it! Good! My thinking hat is fun to wear, but I know I have God to help me make wise choices. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight.
Me and Donkey love that story because we get to know that God is always with us. Who is always with you? That's right, God is always with you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pray together and then we'll say our goodbyes. Dear God, you are the one true God. You know everything. As we make choices this week, help us remember that you are with us and help us be wise. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. I'll see you next week. <laughs>